Hi everyone, Victor here with another quick update on the Tile app. <coughs> so, um, on the new features, um, on the menu, I just add this out of focus. So you can use the the tool with the, with your keyboard. You don't need you, you probably don't won't need a mouse um, just to create a map or to import textures. Of course, you need a mouse um, because yeah, I don't know if I eventually have the possibility of um, selecting square uh, individual squares and painting the texture with the keyboard because I don't know if that makes uh, any sense. But for the menus, um, the style of being. <coughs> I've been uh, creating this style set. Um, yeah, you can resize over here. One of the things that I add is the ability of um, scrolling the map or panning the map with uh, with the left with the right button of the mouse. You press the right button and you drag the mouse and it will um, scroll the map. The same with the tile sets, with the textures. Um, both, both uh, this, this uh, group of tools over here and this one over here, they stay in place. <coughs> and I also added um, keyboard uh, shortcuts, like I just select this tile and I can paint, or I can click the paint bucket tool. Or I can just press B on the keyboard, and that's the paint bucket too. I can erase by clicking on eraser, or just um, pressing E for eraser. So the eraser is selected, but the paint bucket tool was selected previously. So if I erase something now, it will erase uh, with the paint bucket option, like the whole area. So in order for that not to happen you need to select eraser and press p for pencil the same the same uh, when painting if you want to uh, select the stature and the paint bucket tool is selected and you don't want that you can just press p uh, to change from paint bucket to pencil which is uh, one square um, let me see what else. <clears throat> yeah, the eye drop is also uh, working. Let me paint a map over here. Yeah, for instance, uh, I want to erase those tiles uh, with this other tile here. I just uh, click D, so you guys can see here. I drop select, and I select this tile, which uh, uh, got got some visual feedback over here so I could erase if I wanted to to change to this grass tile D again and I select yeah okay so yeah uh, yeah uh, I think it's becoming more and more like a like an actual tool a usable tool let me see create some tiles some some city why we're we here yeah I usually spend like hours um, building stuff with this tool especially with the style set because um, I do love the style set let me see making a residential neighborhood over here some grass yeah there's a lot of missing tiles yet uh, and these ones these ones over here are not usable and these ones these two ones over here <laughs> I painted them myself <laughs> that's why they look like crap <laughs> uh, the other tiles are, are actually beautiful and mine is like I don't know the shape is right, but the colors uh, is far from good, mm -hmm. especially this one over here. Yeah, this looks like a kid's drawing. Any, anyways, I've been fiddling with uh, with the 
pixel art, I guess, from time to time when I'm not uh, busy with other stuff. And yeah, I don't know uh, why I had to implement this dragging option because that should be, I guess, that should be uh, the full uh, in browsers, like uh, with the middle, with the middle button, the middle scroll, uh, the middle wheel on the mouse, you can scroll, like, yeah, like this, but you can actually uh, scroll horizontally, just vertically. So what I did was um, I created an, an event that listened to the mouse move and <clears throat> I just create a delta from the the actual position of the mouse in the last position and I just add the, this delta to the scroll position of the the div element. Yeah, you guys can see um, the code on the GitHub page. Yeah, and that's it. I think um, this has a lot of potential. I've been even thinking about uh, creating a, a small game using um, the features that I that I create for this uh, tile alto. I could also he used them um, in a small city building game, and I'll probably do that in the future, I guess. But anyways, that's it for me. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.